I stopped it. No, no, no. no, no, no. Stop. What, what this is the I'll change your listen, then you can This is how I do Naham Vipro, Nacha, Narapati, Nati, Vaishana, Sudro. Naham Varnina Cha, Vyapati, No Vanasto, Yateva, Kintu, Pradya, Nikala, Paramananda, Puna, Natabe, Loki, Vakti, Padadamayo, Dasa, 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 Actually, sometimes some meters you can break them up to a simple meters also. Instead of chanting the whole line, you chant it twice or eight twice. times. Like <laughs> okay, let's uh, start. Text 45, right? Yes, perfect. Sanvai dhya sadri tivir achi vivye. Sanvai dhya Para Hilkanta Manasa Parisha, Para Hilkanta Manasa Parisha, Atona Basyanti Urugaya Nunam, Atona Basyanti Urugaya Nunam, Ete Padanyasa Vilasa Lakshya, Ete Padanyasa Vilasa Lakshya. O oh, great Supreme Lord, offensive persons whose internal vision has been too affected by external materialistic activities cannot see your lotus feet, but they are seen by your pure devotees whose one and only aim is to transcendentally enjoy your activities. Now here, if people who are offensive, and offensive not only to Krishna, but offensive to his devotees also, or offensive to the living entities and stuff like that. So, people who don't like another person doing better also also offensive. People who try to bring down or try to kill animals, all these are offensive personalities. <coughs> now, their internal vision has been too affected because of their enviousness nature. When you are envious of somebody, you will be offensive towards them. So that will cloud their ability to see the Lord. Too affected, so the demigods are saying, by external materialistic activities. And what is that material activity? It's trying to enjoy. Do anything to enjoy. By hook or by crook <laughs> to enjoy. So they don't care the, how they hurt other people or be offensive, as long as they can enjoy. The consequence of future life, future birth, they cannot see. Not possible. Therefore, they, they don't mind being offensive. But sometimes you see people are very offensive. Like when I travel, I see in the airports and so on, how people are so aggressive and harsh. I would wonder how can they exist like that? But because they are too materialistically affected and they don't understand uh, Atma Tattva. Hmm? Yeah, no, I was remembering one of the past times. Hindu Dumna Maharaj and Prabhupada was going to the airport and those securities were checking something and they were talking something unexpectedly in the first hmm? of Then Hindu Dumna Maharaj just said, if you say something else against my Guru Maharaj, I'll say something. Break your face. Yeah. Even somebody was offensive. Oh, Prabhupada. Prabhupada. During security. Mm -hmm. They were trying to, oh, you do this. And then Prabhupada, you know, Come so on, they were yeah. trying to, so he was a little bit struggling because he was saying something. And Mahamara is very unhappy. <laughs> he said, if you say something, the next to Shimap will break your face. <laughs> 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 anyway, we don't do that. <laughs> 
my eyes can do that <laughs> for Kaupat. We don't do that. The yeah. point here is there are a lot of offensive people out there. Mm -hmm. And if you become offensive yourself, then you cannot get the lotus feet of Krishna. So that should be very important huh? point to understand. You can read the uh, purport yourselves about offenses and so on. Prabhupada gives different types of offenses and he gives story of the hunter, Nirvari the hunter, and he also talks about um, Nala Kuvera and Manigri. Different types of offenses and how they had to undergo different things. In one case, uh, the hunter was unknowingly committing offenses because he was killing and leaving them half dead, remember? Yeah. So therefore he wasn't, he didn't do it purposely, but he said he learned that story. Whereas Manigriva and uh, Nalakovera are supposed to be demigods and then they, they, their offenses, they had to go through some punishment like that. The hunter was not doing it purposely? No, out of no. ignorance. No. He said, this is how I was taught. I half killed animals and leave them. So Narada said, you can't do that. This is very simple. And explain to him what will happen to his the karmic reaction. Then he said, I didn't know. Forgive me. What should I do? He wanted to rectify himself. And so he got the mercy of Narada. Yeah. Whereas in the case of Mani Grava and Narada, it wasn't that. They were enjoying material nature and they were thinking, what? <laughs> then they didn't even ask, let me, let us. They didn't. So the situation was different. And so accordingly, Narada Muni gave them mercy. Both achieved love of God. <coughs> Text 46. Pane nate deva kata sudaya Pane nate deva kata sudaya Pravridha Bhaktya Vishadha Sayaye Pravridha Bhaktya Vishadha Sayaye Vairagya Saram Prati Lagya Bodham Vairagya Saram Prati Lagya Bodham Natanja Sanvi Yura Kunta Dishnyam A lot of persons who, because of their serious attitude, attain the stage of enlightened devotional service Achieve the complete meaning of renunciation and knowledge and attain the Vaikuntha Loka in the spiritual sky simply by drinking the nectar of your topics. So there are many things here that the, the demigods are talking about. First of all, if you want to achieve, you have to be serious. serious. Yeah. And then how do you come to that stage? You should always Listen to the Krishna Kata. Yeah. <laughs> and by doing that, the result is they become renounced and full of knowledge. Vasudeva hmm? Bhagavan. So then, Prabhupada, uh, <laughs> I like this in the purple, it's very funny. Prabhupada says the difference between the impersonalistic mental speculators and the pure devotee of Lord is that the former pass through a miserable understanding of the absolute truth at every stage, whereas the devotee enter into the kingdom of all pleasure from the beginning of the attempt. When you become a devotee, you eat prasadam. You can do so many wonderful dancing, kirtan, everything. So it is pleasurable. Whereas Emperor Sinhalese he has to deny himself all these things and he's always unhappy. Right? Always Mukti Mukti Siddhi Gami Sakale Ashanta Krishna Bhakta Nishkama Ateyvasha Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says. So, <laughs> so you can see you know, all these people they are so miserable and you can see even difference between even practicing like in ISKCON Prabhupada told us not to worry about so many things because he has packaged it for us. I believe strongly. 
I don't have to. Just Ekadeshi, we follow certain things. And then uh, for Chaitanya Mahasaya, just four things. That's all. But then people who, who, who want to, they think they're better than Prabhupada, do more than that. I see some devotees growing beard on Chaturmasya, growing fingernail, and then they even do Bhishma Panchaka, they eat on the ground and all this. <laughs> Prabhupada didn't say we should do all oh, No, no, I'm not joking. Eat on the ground? Yeah. yeah. You know, right? You've seen. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Chaturmasya, you have to, no leaf, nothing, just eat without touching from the ground. It's like boiled vegetable or something like that. Each day one thing maybe. Huh? Yeah, but Prabhupada, I'm talking about what Prabhupada told us. Don't say this Acharya did that. You're not the Acharya. Prabhupada is the Acharya. Yeah, they did, but it's not for us. We can't, can't even chant properly. <laughs> then we want to do all this. Uh, so, so what should we do for chant? Follow what Prabhupada says. First month is no spinach. Second month is milk. Then yogurt. Then what are that? It's very sequential. Because that time the cows eat them. Yeah, yeah. So then all these very intelligent people will say, well, this is in only in India, in this country, no need then. No, why are you worry about all this? Do what Prabhupada tells you. Right? And it's in the scripture. He, he writes exactly. He doesn't say you have to... Uh, he says spinach. He didn't say uh, all green vegetables. All green vegetables. <laughs> now they all say all green vegetables. <laughs> if they want to change in the book and say this is what Prabhupada said, okay, I accept. But so far I haven't seen that. Yeah. <laughs> Prabhupada says why they want to make change. I think you didn't understand me. <laughs> so if it is in book, you said. No, you didn't understand what I said. What did I say? So you said it's, if it is not in book, we can have access to that. If it is in book... Uh, then you know, you're misquoting. What did I say? Whatever else just follow what, whatever Prabhupada said. Well, yeah, if Prabhupada had said and they didn't have it in the book, and then yeah, okay, you change it. And you put it in the book and we'll accept it. <laughs> but if Prabhupada only said that, then just let's follow. Why we want to make our life so difficult? As it is, it's so difficult. <laughs> <laughs> First, do this nicely. Then later on, when you are a big pure devotee, you can do anything you want, right? You don't even have to eat like uh, Raghunath Das or so, right? Just one drop. Yeah. So why not do that, right? <laughs> Actually, we can't do that because we will be very miserable, like the impersonalists. <laughs> yeah. If we don't eat properly, huh? And then stop everything. Yeah, you, 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 not only that, you go preaching and you scold the people. Take the book. Why? <laughs> because you are not Take happy. The Take the book. Take the book. <laughs> yeah. You're always thinking, oh, I can't eat. So there is a tendency to think that if you do more austerities, we progress quickly. Oh, it says very clearly, right? Vasudeva Bhagavad If you do service to Vasudeva, automatically. So we have to do the austerity acharyas and Whatever Prabhupada recommended austerity we do. So Ekadesi, he said no beans or grains. And then if you are better, if you if you can do more than that, you don't want to eat anything, like some people don't eat anything. Yeah, do that because it's in nectar devotion also. He says, ultimately, Ekadesi, you can stop eating. So if you can do that, do that. <laughs> so what about Jagaram? Like did what Prabhupada say which about the Jagaram? Jagaram is staying over the night staying in the Ekadesi. Like without, is there any I, I think I haven't come across anything. But that's nothing wrong with that. If you want to stay up chanting all night, Prabhupada say ultimately, you, you should be able to chant 24-7. <laughs> Like day six Goswamis, right? Twenty two hours chanting, then two hours for other things. <laughs> Eating and sleeping. <laughs> you can't do that. They are personification of Vairagya, Jnana, or you know. Even who is that? Gokishadas Pramati, right? What's his Pranam Mantra? 
Yeah. You can do it. <laughs> you can do that. You know. It's a, his 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 what the renunciation is unheard of. <laughs> he can, yeah, he chants inside the toilet. He's, yeah, he chants inside. He'll sit next day and chant. <laughs> his austerity we can't do. No, we can't. We can't pretend. That's why we should just do what Prabhupada said. And as you make advancement, you will be from internally automatic. The Lord will tell you, okay. Yes. Right? He says, I'll give you the knowledge to come to me. Then he'll tell you, okay, do this, do that. So that's why we need to follow. Make your life simple so you can preach. Yeah, so we are not into like showing all this. So then Prabhupada therefore says, with a serious attitude, the devotee throws away all achievements. So we are not here to achieve. Oh, I can do this. Like so much dust. <laughs> and he accepts only devotion service that transmits combination. Text 47. <clears throat> Tatapare Chatma Samadhi Yoga Tatapare Chatma Samadhi Yoga Malena Jitva Prakritim Balishtam Malena Jitva Prakritim Balishtam Vameva Dira Purusham Vishanti Vameva Dira Purusham Vishanti Eshaan Shamasya Natu Sevayate Eshaan Shamasya Natu Sevayate Others who are pacified by means of transcendental self-realization and have conquered over the modes of nature by dint of strong power and knowledge also enter into you. But for them there is much pain, whereas the devotee simply discharges devotional service and thus feels no such pain. This others refer to jnanis and yogis who merge into Brahma Jyoti. Okay, so that's what I think Prabhupada mentions in the purport also. Yeah. Others refer to Yanji. The same as the Bhagavad Yeah. Klesha Bhakti. I I told you most of the teachings, if you look carefully, the prayers may have a little change here and there by words, but they're all Almost, almost always the same prayer, type of prayers. Very little changes. The mood may be different. Yeah. But otherwise, it's about the same, generally. <laughs> so, and, and in a sense, it's fixed. We don't, we don't have to create anything. Praying to the Lord. We don't have to create something new. Because you can see all the different personalities. More or less, they use similar type of phrases to the Lord. So, we don't have to create another one to show I can do it. We just use this one. <laughs> anyway, what is our intelligence, right? How much can we write to 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 pray? Look at the, the demigods. It's good enough. Better than anything you can come up with. Unless you're Acharya like Chila Brahma, Then his prayers are superlative. <laughs> So then Prabhupada says, there are people who say, right, the devotees also have to work hard. Right? So Prabhupada says, one may suggest that there is sufficient labor for the devotees also in the matter of discharging devotional service. But that labor is compensated by the enhancement of transcendental pleasure. It's actually labor of love. Therefore, when you are doing service, you must feel some pleasure, affection, affection yeah. should be there. For yeah. so I'm doing it for the Lord, not for myself. But that affection should be there in your heart. That you're happy to do it. So that's why devotee is doing it. Huh? The devotees derive more transcendental pleasure while engaged continuously in the serving of the Lord than when they have no such engagement. This is a fact. You feel bored when you have no service, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We may not be at that level, but yeah. we still feel bored. Yeah. Yeah. 
it's it's sometimes you wish you are more rounds to chant. So at least you don't feel bored. So in that situation you better chant more. <laughs> so as you feel bored you can either read or chant. If you if you read the Bhagavad Gita you feel it's too too much uh, philosophical, then read Mahabharata or Ramayana. But or just call a devotee and say how is your devotional service? <laughs> How can we preach? <laughs> or like probably make PPT <laughs> points, <laughs> you focus on Krishna. <laughs> or a lesson plan, so many things, nice. Or cook and invite devotees to your home. <laughs> come and eat. I want your blessing. Not, don't come. I don't want to spend money. <laughs> no, because if you don't practice like that, you will think like that. <laughs> right? Think, you know, I, I mentioned it last time, so this time also. How many times you invited the devotees to your home? <laughs> Since the last time I was here. <laughs> so you have to think. You are not making advancement. Prabhupada's father used to invite any sadhu, even though they were... <laughs> right? Yeah. But it was interesting, when <coughs> Prabhupada was going to Goryamad, he invited the Goryamad sannyasis to his home, and then Prabhupada's father, and he said, he told his father that some sannyasis here, Prabhupada's father refused to come, and he thought they were just bogus, not Vaishnavas. But then, when he came and heard them speak, then he realized they were so he was happy. It was a culture actually. Last night, so in my home, anybody would come. Mother would even without culture. asking, they will give prasad. Yeah. So culture. Yeah. So that was Vaishnava culture. It's lost now. <laughs> now, like, somebody comes, you know, this guy is coming. I don't do something. Ah, <laughs> take a stick. Take a stick. It's a city culture actually. Yeah. 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 Why you come call to them first? Call them first. Call take them first. Take it first. Anyway, this is something you all have to think. You, if you don't do it now when you're older, you can't even walk. Then how? <laughs> Isn't it? You can't even do anything. You, you, you are just tired. You just want to sit down. <laughs> You'll become like that. Then what to do? I think think about it because for your own uh, growth of your both Krishna consciousness as well as relationship. Now here another thing about entering into you in, in Krishna is Prabhupada talks about in the second paragraph where he says the union of the impersonalists and the union of the devotees are not on par, they are different. Impersonalists try to fully stop their individuality by attaining salyujya mukti or unification by merging into oneness. Whereas the devotees keep their individuality to exchange feelings in relationship with Supreme Individual Lord. Now Prabhupada writes this so many times in so many different places, right? Because we need to know this clearly, the difference. When people ask you, so what's the big deal, what's wrong with uh, merging? How are you going to answer? Hmm? There's more pleasure in tasting sugar than becoming sugar. Yeah, but... There's no reciprocation you can feel. Okay, that's a better... Sense. Yeah. Something they can relate to. <laughs> Otherwise, you're within that. So how do you know that? It's your nature to service. You can say that. Yeah. But you... you you can say that, but you have to always justify what your the statement. Like you're putting a hypothesis, then you have to give examples to say this is a fact. Relationship. Yeah, I was just saying that an example you say that you know if you become the owner of this small city, mm -hmm. you feel good. But if you're the only person in the city, you don't feel, don't feel good. good. <laughs> so everybody relates to that. You have to say that's what we are looking for. Yeah. Or you can say examples like if you go in the room, you feel very angry with people, go in your room, 
there's nothing in your room, all empty, and then you close the door, you feel very happy. For how long? Yeah. And don't come up forever. Yeah. Can you yeah. do that? <laughs> you can't do that. And ordinarily, if these people argue, right, they will talk and argue. You say, why are you talking to me? You want, you want to merge into nothing, so stay away. Huh? Well, and you like that? Like last one, I gave a nice example. They said, like, they give you an air ticket to Hawaii, the island in Hawaii. Nobody is there, but food, everything will be brought at you. Oh, yeah. You are alone. <laughs> Just stay there for one week. You can't. One day also stay. Yeah, I mean, that's why I'm saying, you can ask the people, can you for one whole day not talk to him? No, they can't. Yeah. No First gadgets. thing they have to go there is no gadgets. Yeah. <laughs> no gadgets and see how, how they can do it. <laughs> you are right. Yeah, yes, sir, yes, sir. So you can see how many ways you can ex explain to them. But if you can state it like what Prabhupada says, the devotees keep their individuality to exchange feelings in relationship with the Supreme Individual Lord. That has a lot of potency. Then you give your examples. A child coming out of mother's womb, now again want to go into the mother's womb. <laughs> Gross. <coughs> that is Sahuja. Again wants to go back. And so people who go to the majority the experience from this side, future. Yeah. So they're not experiencing now. No, it's not complete. So, it's not complete realization or, or, or full ananda also. There is ananda also. But it's not complete. The Ananda experience in Brahma Jyoti is considered to be one toe nail of the Lord. <laughs> Something like that. One drop in the ocean. Yeah. So therefore, it is not complete. It's incomplete still. Complete realization is Sachin Ananda, not that Sat. Whereas the Paramatma is Sat and Chit, with a little Ananda also. I was hearing one of Prabhupada's lectures, he was saying that the danger of this impersonal thing is also that people are engaged in material things and if they think that the spiritual side is blank, basically, very much, then they don't want to go there, sort of. He was saying comparing. So if they think that spiritual is only just nothing, peace, I guess. But if they understand that spiritual is actually all of this variegated enjoyment, but what you know, transcendental and unending, and yeah. then they would. True. It was, but they have to understand it correctly. Yeah. yeah. The spiritual enjoyment is not the same as yeah. material. Yeah. Because remember, Krishna says, Vita Raga Bhaya Kruta. Yeah. Yeah. Then they can mm -hmm. fall in that trap also. <laughs> yeah. So, in a Brahma Jyotya, I've heard like in lectures, like it is just the Sat. So, there is no Ananda. That's why they don't feel Ananda. So, they come No, there is the Ananda. <laughs> But they yes. fall down to the material world and do they do other paramprofit Yeah, but there's ananda, otherwise they won't merge there. There's some ananda, even in the Brahman does. Yeah. Yeah. The this reason one. for coming down is because no. there is no reciprocation. Yes. That's the reason. There is one Nana on chart is given about happiness. Oh, okay. So there's something called Parthivarasa, that is the material environment. Mm. So Parthivarasa is like uh, the amount of pleasure you get. If all your senses are perfect and you have unlimited resources to enjoy your senses, that is called Parthi Varasa. And Swargi Varasa is thousand times Parthi Varasa. The demigods were doing that. And Brahman Rasa is ten thousand times Swargi Varasa. Mm. So you have Ananda. And then Parthi Rasa is like an ocean in which Brahman Rasa is just a drop. Yeah. So Brahman is talking about the second. <laughs> So, so why don't you just uh, email that to everyone so they can email it? You have? I have the in the seventh chapter this in personal email, right? No, he what this? No, I don't have it. I probably incorporate that. But I have something a little bit I am explaining the same thing. But, uh, mm -hmm. So in, uh, when they are in Brahman realization, they don't have the spiritual concept. Form. Form. No. Because they haven't realized uh, Krishna consciousness. Yes. So they won't have the they won't develop the spiritual concept. No, they won't develop the spiritual concept. So, like a speck? 
like a speck, like a dust in the rays, rays of the sun. <laughs> The soul is just like the dust in the rays of the sun. There is no form in the soul. It's formless, no? <laughs> they want to merge in form. And so why do they have form? <coughs> but when Gopuga went to their to Mahakal and to Brahma Jyoti, they said Narad Muni was the best. That's different, no? That's different. Narad Muni is spiritual. He can go anywhere. But then maybe I didn't hear it right. So one lecture I was doing, but I understood, they didn't mean to say that, but I understood that suppose somebody's cow in the spiritual world does the form, so when that, that's what I understood, I mean, maybe I made a mistake, but the spirit soul form is like the cow. No, no, no. <laughs> so I got it wrong. It's uh, the, the way they say it's like seeds. So you have different types of seeds, but you don't know, you can't see it. But it says very small, but it's still a cow. <laughs> No, I understood like this. No, so not, 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 I mean, no, Maharaj no. also was saying, no, no. Things like seeds, mm -hmm. and then when you water it, different flowers open up, right? Maharaj you is saying, you can't distinguish. Yeah, so that only happens when you have uh, cultivated completely your spiritual relationship. Yeah. Before so that, no. So, spirit soul is seed, the form is like a seed. The soul it's is like seed, the soul is like just seed. a spark. There's, there's, no, spark. Spark. there's no shape. You can say, like, <laughs> He was to everybody. I like to look at it. Alright, so we were talking about Sahaja Mukti. Okay. Whereas the such reciprocation or exchanges, feelings takes place in the transcendental Vaikuntha planet. And therefore, the liberation sought by the impersonal is already achieved in devotional service. The devotees attain mukti automatically while continuing the transcendental pleasure of maintaining individuality. So it's a subset, the uh, sahujya mukti, where they get some relief. It's already there in the relationship with the Supreme Lord. You still thinking about it, see? <laughs> I, but I also have heard, like what you were saying, that there are some personalities in the Brahma Jyoti also. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. They, Gopakuma went through, but he met people who were there also. But they may be in Brahma Loka, not necessarily in the Brahma Jyoti. In the Brahma Jyoti, they are essentially just suspended. Yeah. They are not really interacting. Yeah, I know. Right? She's yeah. saying the Narayana, but from what I know, Narayana just goes through. Yeah. And then he, are they are doing Kirtan with his groups, but people get attracted to him and then they do devotional service and then they go back. That is the hope for those stuck in the world. Yeah, that's the only hope. Like like spiritual society. Huh? It's a spiritual society. Yeah. So Narad Muni goes also, so get interacted with Narad Muni, so they get... They get attracted and then they may come and do devotion, so they may even come down to take birth like that, to then continue devotion. That's his mercy. Yeah. If they hear him. Yeah. But otherwise, they are just trying to... They think they enjoy it, then they think... Well, they want to be active. The soul wants yeah. to be active. So they have to come down. That's the reason they fall down. Yeah. Question. The last sentence in the purport says the destinations are distinctly different and the transcendental pleasure derived by the devotee is also distinct from chin matra or spiritual feelings of yes. I'm not sure what he means by chin matra or spiritual. Chin is the Yeah, chin. And the experience spiritual Huh? The destination is distinctly different, uh, which is true. They go to different locations. And the pleasure is different, that's how I can understand chin matra. 
best one best one yeah i don't know which one it is opposite of one another huh of sensual of spiritual senses you know one another one another material sense perception this is spiritual sense perception but it's they are also spiritual but they are not complete so this chin matra is achieved by the people in brahma jyoti is no. that what it is saying what is no transcendental pleasure derived by devotees is distinct is from chin matra that's the other way so the, the chin matra is attained by the it seems yeah, like it seems like that is attained by the people in brahma jyoti yeah. also also spiritual feeling alone alone spiritual alone, alone. alone. chin matra is just spiritual feeling so that spiritual feeling is not spiritual feeling being alone Alone, maybe there is no. No, 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 no. Or spiritual feelings alone. It means just what devotees are getting is not just spiritual feelings. Something more. That's what. So maybe their impersonalists are also getting some spiritual feelings. <laughs> But that's not it. No, no, no. That's, that's, that's not, not what the alone means. means. No, that's, that's not what. Just think about it. Anyway, this in, this is it's, like context. Uh, yeah, context. Uh, one one is the English. whether it is the feelings alone been alone right <laughs> the other one is comparison so i am not sure this that yeah, yeah, ask someone yeah, yeah. i don't even know what chin matra is i i'm i'm i may speculate that could be spiritual senses so we are from the same this is from my what philosophy even brahma it is conception of duality of course one in reality only reality is one yeah so the the, the levels is given like 10000 is like at the level of jagdish that they are saying ishwar or sakun bhava this is indian bhava brahma which oh is, you are talking about my other philosophy yeah so that's where brahma is <laughs> <laughs> no no he is talking about the the happiness in the, the same thing right no happiness in brahma jyoti yeah so which is this Even but my very philosophy they don't merge into the brahma jyoti my body is going in the position brahma body is do my body is cannot even go there they they are talking about merging into nirgun brahma yeah they talk but they can't even get no, there no they can't go there that's a different thing they're talking about nirgun brahma which is the same okay Yes, my bodies don't go to. How oh, they are so offensive, yeah. no? Offensive. They they just they are still stuck in the universe. But so Brahma Jyoti is the first layer of understanding Bhagwan. Right? It's in in the thing that so far that Brahma bodies. Then how my bodies can go there? Anyway, if we try to understand, we are confused. No. So don't. The my bodies don't go. Brahma bodies. Impersonalism, and Prabhupada says. Here I believe it's uh, Brahma Vadis. Oh, you hear that in this context? Yes. Uh, not talking about Maya Vadis, because Maya Vadis will not be able to go. They are offensive. Why would the Lord even give them Brahma Jyoti? Yeah, yeah. Unless he personally kills them. So in personal state, in person only Brahma Vadis. So you have to see the, the context. context. I think it refers to only the board. Then why that verse is there? Like, near in the book, Arindaksha, Jyotir, and then they fall down because they are not. Impersonal is no, but not Maya. Maya. So Bhagavad says in many verses, impersonal is of two types. Maya, then yeah. So you have to see the context again, whether he is referring to Maya or not. But I can't see because they are offensive. How can no, an offensive no, no, no. person get any reward? No, in this place, Prabhupada, they use the 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 ladder and then they go up, so they can go. But generally, the offensive they might not. Do they won't reach the destination. They might attain some level. I doubt it. If they uh, go to the, must be very fortunate <laughs> to do that. But, yeah, ultimate destination. Yeah, they may be fortunate enough to get it, but no, even Brahman they cannot reach. Right? That's Brahma Jyoti, no? Yeah, that's where Brahma Brahma Jyoti is. I feel that. No, for them, even Brahma Vadi is just the ultimate destination. So Brahma Jyoti is getting much more money. I don't feel they will go there, but that's you know if you find out from some, just send me an email, explain. No, but 
there's the two things. One is reaching, the other is their goal is attempting yes. is one thing. Yeah, so there are two things. So yes. one who's reaching there is a, is, a, is a result of their act. Very hard. Is what Krishna says. But their goal is that Brahma Goal is okay. Goal is okay. Goal is goal. Is Impersonal is goal. Yeah. Both Brahmavadis and Mayavadis goal is. So that's what I'm talking about. Reach or what is a different, different thing. thing. Yeah. yeah. Goal can be. And yeah. even for Brahma is what Krishna says in the twelfth chapter, Bhagavad Gita. Very difficult. Very difficult. Takes a long, long time to get that. So it's not an easy thing. You know? So what to speak of Maya with this? So, the way I understood transcendental pleasure derived by the devotee is also distinct from chin mantra, spiritual feelings alone means the devotee has a different kind of spiritual feeling as opposed to the impersonates. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, that's how I saw it. Thanks for the year. Tate vayam loka sistriksha yadya Tate vayam loka sistriksha yadya Vayanu sushta svibir atma bhisma Vayanu sushta svibir atma bhisma Sarve viyukta svibhara tantram Sarve viyukta svibhara tantram Nashaknu mastar Pratihartha Vete Pratihartha Vete Oh, original person, we are therefore, but we are also alone, only. Although we are your creatures, we are born one after another under the influence of the three modes of nature, and for this reason, we are separated in action. Therefore, after the creation, we could not act concertedly for your transcendental pleasure. So now they are saying, well, so they glorify the Lord first, and then they are now requesting help from Him. So it seems, it seems like, I know what you like Jiva, I know, I know, I also thought of it. I know what you mean. Yeah. Seems like Jiva. Because they are born under the influence under of the three the yes. of the three So they are Jiva. So they are not prototype ones here? No, it's, it seems uh, strange, but... Yeah. That's how it is. So that means they are they could be prototype but could be Jiva. Yes. Still Jiva. Hmm. So from this verse we can confirm. Yeah. Even though if it says Kala, they are still Jiva. Text forty nine. Yata vayam channam vadam yatra Yata vayam channam vadam yatra Yato vayesham ta imehi loka Yato vayesham ta imehi loka Valim haram tonam vadanti anuha Valim haram tonam vadanti anuha Oh, and born one Please enlighten us regarding the ways and means by which we can offer you all enjoyable grains and commodities so that both we and all other living entities in this world can maintain ourselves without disturbance and can easily accumulate the necessities of life both for you <coughs> and for ourselves. Yeah, they are Jiva. <laughs> Looks like they are missing the universe. Huh? Within, the universe. Within the universe, that sounds like that. When they come they outside, still the, the Mahatatu. Mahatatu. So now they are already the expansion of Brahma Devi has happened. Durga Devi is there in the picture. Now, this is after the Mahatatu combines the mode of goodness yeah. and the demigods are created. Right. So, what I'm trying to say is that the three modes are now already in picture. Because yeah, yeah, they are already is, there. So, maybe all... that's the reason they are saying. <laughs> they are affected by the modes in that. But the Shakti of the Lord is not so They won't be affected. They won't Shakti be affected. Won't be only the Jiva Tattu was marginal. Yeah. Margin, um, anyway, it's, 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 it is Jiva. So yes. the point is, we do not know this. This group are still prototype. That's yeah. the yeah. It said in this world. 
or maybe yeah, they are speaking in that maybe the prayers of the ones but inside Brahma their hearts. Brahma hasn't come. Brahma isn't coming. Yeah, so the Brahma, exactly. The, that's why. Darvalagasha Lushna hasn't gone in. So that's why it's confused. Yeah. Maybe they are praying it's in not in Bhagavad Gita. Exactly. Like material yeah. sequence. No, one other thing is we are expecting the sequence. But it could be in yeah. within the yeah. universe, yeah. this happens also. And they may be worshipping uh, Darvalagasha Lushna. So we do not know. It happens like that. <laughs> anyway, that's not very so much. We just appreciate the prayers for us. <laughs> yeah, and then see. So, and, and this one probably relates to the Bhagavad Gita chapter 3. All the gods provide. Yes, yes. Yagna, Sista, Shri, Santo, Muchin, Pusar, Kilvisha, Gunja, Deke, Tuagam, Papa, Yeva, Chanti, Atma, Karana. That is if they offer, Prabhupada explains, you will be free from. Sin. Sinful activities. And you're right. There's a verse where the demigods, uh, you have to offer yeah, for so sacrifice. The so demigods are there to provide you all these necessities. Mm -hmm. Yes. Grains, rain, one, 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 like that. So everything is offered by the Lord. So then we are not supposed to enjoy it. We are supposed to offer it. Okay. Rabbi again talks about that. Starvation is due to the increase in population and not and this is not accepted by the demigods or the devotees of the Lord. Because the Lord can maintain any any number, infinite. Eko Bhavanam Yo Vidaditi Kama. The Prabhupada quotes them also. He does, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Doesn't matter, you know, anywhere you can see uh, animals in the forest, jungle. <coughs> the problem with scarcity is governments are not distributing properly. They, they are cheating, they want to make money. <laughs> but if you are sinful, then you get all these famines and all that. It's due to our sinful activities. It's a reaction by the uh, demigods or our sinful nature attracts punishment by the demigods. And so we suffer like that. Because they are not, uh, when you're not, when you don't have the knowledge that you're meant to give everything in sacrifice and then you try to eat it, then it's sinful. So that propagates a cycle where you have to suffer. And one of them is like famines, flooding, tsunami, this, that. Adi Devik. Hmm? Adi Devik. Yeah. So the demigods also. The Prabhupada writes towards the end, when, but when men are unaware of intrinsic value of such gifts from the Lord, surely they are in want. A person who has no God consciousness may live in opulence for this time being due to his past virtuous acts, but if one forgets his relationship with the Lord, certainly he must await the stage of starvation by the law of the powerful material nature. One cannot escape the vigilance of the powerful material nature unless he leads a God conscious or devotional life. Very powerful nature. That's why we see a lot of people, even in the same lifetime, all their opulence goes away. Yeah. They become like totally. Yeah, stubborn. once you are sinful, you lose ayu, so many the opulence, everything is gone slowly. And eventually you will die miserably. Because it should be used properly. If it's not used properly, then it either gets taken away immediately or through a series of actions by the material nature because of the karmic reaction and sinful reaction. Text 51. Tvamna suranam masi sanvayanam Tvamna suranam masi sanvayanam Kutasta adhyā purusha purāna Kutasta adhyā purusha purāna Tvam deva shakyam guna karma yonav Tvam deva shakyam guna karma yonav Etas tu ajayam kavimāda dejā Etas tu ajayam kavimāda dejā you are the original personal founder of all the demigods and the orders of different gradations, yet you are the oldest and are unchanged. 
O oh Lord, you have no source or superior. You have impregnated the external energy with the semen of the total living entities. Yet you are unborn. It's interesting because he's talking to the Mahavishnu. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. So then you're now thinking, what is the <laughs> yeah, and then when they realize there are two things they do, they either accept him or they reject. And, and when they reject, they will say there's another category also that they may accept, but they reject him indirectly. They say, Then why I'm suffering? Why he's making me suffer? Very common. Why are you? And then when you try to explain, they, they, they'll bring up their difficulties and the unfairness of the world and this and that. So then that's why you need to know how to give them like inoculation, no? or like the doctor injecting. You don't feel the needle going through. <laughs> so you have to give them, give them understanding about karma, how karma actually works. Given in simple language that they can relate to, and say, oh, okay, oh, okay, I can sort of accept. Don't make it complicated. I had one friend called me, you know, I think he saw that God just exists. Mm. So, give me an example like, how the sun just exists. Mm. For us, the sun is just existing. When we take bath, it's just there. Yeah. On earth, and many things like that. And we are accepting these things. Mm. And it is never burning on the sun is given in some way and no. constantly giving out his food. He accepted that? Yeah, yes, so because the sun is a thing which is just <laughs> <laughs> so the sun is just existing, right? Huh? For us, with our conception. No, there are people who like you, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you will have, you have to watch out for that. Yeah. He may be pious, so he accepted. It's like that. You'll see many times when you talk, people who are pious, they can accept. But the impious lords are the ones who will argue a lot, you know. Because you also get the good ones who argue also. But you can see why, where they're coming from, you know. It's a confusion. How can something exist on its own from the beginning? So that is the definition of God. He's always there. <laughs> Prabhupada gives the example about how Narsingha they came out of the pillar. <laughs> And then Ahalya came out of a stone by the touch of the lotus feet of his incarnation as Lord Sri Ram. Hmm? And then finally, in that purport, Srila Prabhupada writes The living entity changes his body in the material world, but even when the Lord is in the material world, he is ever unchanged. That is his. Prerogative. <laughs> okay? That's his choice, his will. It's not something that we think he should be like. Yeah. It's his prerogative. That's how he designed. It's designed like that. It's very difficult for people to accept that. We think it's so easy because we accept it. Yeah. So we think it's uh, everyone should accept. Also in this verse, um, or in the previous verse also, they call him, <laughs> one of the previous verse, they call him father also. No? <coughs> and then here also Prabhupada says that the Supreme Lord, the relationship of every living being with the Supreme Lord is certainly one of son and father, not one of equality. Which means we never equal, we'll never be equal. And then Prabhupada gives a very nice understanding. Sometimes in love, the son is more than the father. But the relationship of father and son is one of the superior and the subordinate. That's a good example. So everyone 
no matter what the opposition is, you're always a subordinate to Krishna. That must be understood. The one never be more than Krishna. Can never. We can never be more than Krishna. Not even equal. Hmm? Not even equal. Yeah, because yeah. not even equal. Less than. <laughs> Yeah, and you can't understand him. They come saying a stito that way. Right? He tells Arjuna also, why are you asking all this? Why you want to know all this? Stabhyamidam Krishna may come say in a stito with the little spark. I everything is accomplished by me. So that is supreme. Huh? It's part of a splendor. Spark of a splendor. Even that is too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually. The Mahatattva principle is the generating source of all the modes of material nature and the living entities take birth in the material world in bodies supplied by the mother material nature in terms of their previous work. The body is a gift of material nature but the soul is originally part and parcel of the Supreme Lord. So within these two paragraphs you can see how Prabhupada talks about the same thing in different contexts. The body, the soul, the Supreme Lord. <laughs> Text 51, the last one. Tato Vayam Pramukha Yadarte Tato Vayam Pramukha Yadarte Babu Vimatma Nukaravama Kinte Babu Vimatma Nukaravama Kinte Tom Naswa Chakshu Paridehi Shaktya Tom Naswa Chakshu Paridehi Shaktya Deva Kriyate Yaranugraha O oh, Supreme Self, please give us, who are created in the beginning from the Mahatattva, the total cosmic energy, your kind directions on how we shall act, kindly award us your perfect knowledge and potency so that we can render your you service in the different departments of subsequent creation. Okay. Clear. <laughs> Yeah, they are prototypes, prototypes, but they are still jivas. Yeah. It's interesting, yeah, because they are they are uh, the shaktis of them in the Vaikuntha planet, so mm -hmm. like Indra, Kuvera, shaktis like that. <coughs> Lord is one without a second. Yeah. This is the constitutional position of a living entity. The Lord is one without a second and he expands himself into many for his transcendental pleasure. All the expansions, the Vishnu Tattvas, Jiva Tattvas and Shakti Tattvas, the personalities of Godhead, the living entities with different potential energies are different offshoots from the same one Supreme Lord. Jiva Tattvas are separated expansions of the Vishnu Tattvas and although there are potential differences between them, they are all meant for the transcendent sense gratification of the Supreme Lord. Some of the Jivas, however, wanted to lord it over material nature in the imitation of the Lordship of the person of God, all of us. Regarding when and why such propensities overcame the pure living entities, it can only be explained that the Jiva Tattvas have the infinitesimal independence, that means a very small independence. And that due to misuse of this independence, some of the living entities have become implicated in the conditions of cosmic creation and are therefore called Nitya Badras or eternal conditioned souls. For example, <coughs> right, Anuraga? Anuraga. <laughs> Baharamila. Then uh, your father sometimes tell you not to do some things mm -hmm. and you still did it. So, why? Same thing. Jivas know even in the spirit when they were created, it's wrong, but still they did it. 
misuse of the field. He is telling there are potential differences between them. So maybe it was Joe Petro or the demagogue were doing service to really satisfy the transcendental sense. Yeah, they are like. And the others are like. They just do demigods here are like pure devotees. <laughs> Whereas in general, Prabhupada is explaining <coughs> how the jivas come into this material universe. Uh, those who come to enjoy uh, is because they 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 misuse that little <laughs> freedom. The father tells you clearly, don't do that. This is wrong, and I don't want you to do. And then as soon as he goes, only you do. <laughs> and then. When we read things like that, we argue. If the jiva is pure, how he can do this thing? Right? He can. He's the, that's his choice. So he fights with his father that way. So becomes Nitya Bhattas. Nitya Badas. Badass. Badass. <laughs> <laughs> Practically, that's what it is, our situation. We are becoming eternally conditioned. In the next paragraph, Prabhupada talks about the, <coughs> the fact that the Vedic wisdom is given to the conditions of Nitya Bharas. Huh? Why? This is the second, so many times he has mentioned this, but within this uh, purport, he is mentioning again. A chance to improve and those who take advantage of such knowledge, transcendental knowledge, gradually regain their lost consciousness of rendering transcendental loving service to the law. That means even that attitude to serve is so strongly covered. So for the jivas in different yugas, the time that is given to perfect themselves is different. Yeah. Because the lifespan is longer, so they can so there is more chance in Satya Yuga, Treta, Dropter. You can do all those other things. More chances for long time. Like even in the previous Dwapara Yuga, they can, they can, a lot of opulence, they can mine gold, jewelry, so no, for deity worship. And their deity worship is not like. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's like yagnas. In front of them, they put jewelry inside the fire. Wow. And also, yeah, big time <laughs> yagnas. <laughs> I was just trying to write it in Kaliuga, if somebody puts it like that, then there'll be people to go and get it out. No, they do that uh, in, in, when they do like installation, first time installation. At that time, you'll see them put all these jewelries in the yagna. You also put jewelries in the uh, temple. No, the but you didn't put in the fire? No, no, no. not in the fire. Yeah, I know. Yeah. In a pit. Yeah. That's the, but I've seen it. No, the same when they are so No, at that it will be very small. Like I've seen in India, like if you go for somebody's puja and then the pandit will say you need some gold and then like get the small Yeah, yeah, I know. Nowadays, nowadays it's like that. But I've seen it when they were started <laughs> making one temple. I saw people were yeah, putting they, diamonds, gold, gold yeah. pearls. I saw them putting and I was like, I was a little boy then. I was like, wow. Okay. <laughs> Who knows? I didn't test it, so the Lord knows. I should like it's the Don't dig and take it out. No, they after the yagna they covered the place with concrete. Yeah, after the construction of the yagna, don't dig and take it out. But then there is Adi Shesh right to protect it from stuff. Yeah, you cannot do that. If you're a crook, you'll do that. But even even for homes in India, until recently they were doing shanti stuff and means they actually put gold, silver, various metals as a part of that process. They actually put it at the foundation and they cover it up. Yeah. Well, usually they put Adi Shesh so that he is protector. No? Like Adi Shesh in that uh, picture. Yes. In the other picture, or the chandelier picture. Right yeah, so you see oh. him holding the mm. boom and the left. Yeah. Mm. I thought Adi Shesha actually was holding each universe. <coughs> yeah. right, no, actually each planet. No, it's wrong. That, that description was wrong. Wrong, huh? Okay. Because that they are floating on the current ocean. Yeah. 
within the universe and then holding each planetary systems. The Bhumandala. Planetary system also, no? Yeah. I thought only Bhumandala, but what about other planetary systems? The whole Bhumandala, Atala, Vitala, Sutta, everything, all the entire Earth disk you hold. Entire Earth disk. Anyway, we will look up and then tell you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, but this is the new one, no? Yeah. But I think I've read where they say the lots. Uh, each, I mean, each hood yeah. holds one mustard seed. The universe. The universe. So they understood it like that. That's why they put it outside. But no, it's uh, written in the... Purpose or yeah, something. Yeah, right? somewhere in text also, not just the yeah. Yeah. holding the planetary system as a mustard system. It is there in every place. Really? So under it is So this is one universal system. Yeah, this is one So this disc, this is earth plate entire. Mm -hmm. Let's look. Boom and mm -hmm. Now my question is what about the other planet right. systems within the because they are putting planet they are about here they are about here they are about here they are how are they resting on are they resting they are planet on the air that's not right. only the boom mandala only the boom mandala and all the right. subterranean right. right. because this they are also because these are these are yeah i mean this grass but others are circles that's why they are hanging no no they are also grass some there, but they didn't have any holding. They are all hanging from him. They are hanging. They are all hanging from him. Through what? Through what? His this prava is holding. What is holding? Prava. The air. The air. Oh, okay. And what about the uh, higher planes? That is, I don't know. They are suspended. They are mystic. Okay. We'll stop. We'll do. Multiple rings.